Last night, just as I turned off the cameras, I was thinking of something that I might try. I think I might add another figure back here, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, mountain men usually trap alone, but they would sometimes team up with other trappers. And uh, I'm thinking of having another mountain man sitting with his legs hanging over the uh, rock which means I'd have to re reshape this rock a little bit. But that wouldn't be a big deal. It's just an idea that I had. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to... You know, you get ideas while you're working on something, and and uh, sometimes you just got to try it out. And so I'm going to maybe think about that one. Anyway, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Looks interesting. This is his rifle. I'm trying to think about a way of putting the rifle across his lap. I don't know. Just an idea. I want to check it before I commit to it. And one way to do that is just quickly sketch a body into the uh, piece. and I can always take it off. There's no armature or anything involved. Hey, you got an idea? You got to do it. You mean you got to try it? That's what I'm doing. I'll extend the rock out that far. It's like they're both surveying <coughs> a new valley they see for beaver. Trying to figure out if it's going to be worth going down and setting up traps. I don't know, I kind of like it. I made a uh, armature for the head. Got to have the armature for the head. Can't just pop it in. You can't just uh, start playing with it and not have something to Hold it together. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm just uh, sketching in the head. It's got to be a completely different personality than the uh, one I did for the other mountain man. So I've got to come up with a face <coughs> that doesn't make him look like a twin. <laughs> that's the last thing I want to do I got my uh, maquette 
uh, head from my uh, 24 inch maquette that I got at uh, anatomytools.com uh, these uh, big ones are very expensive now back when I bought this probably five years ago maybe six maybe even longer than that they were a little cheaper not really cheap but cheaper but they're the best tool for figuring out skulls and muscles and all that now I'm going to make this head exactly the same length of head I have on the uh, other figure and uh, I gotta trim it down just a little this is a uh, metal tool I got from Sculpture Depot but this part is dynamite, but uh, and it's heavy. And from what I understand from Karen at the, the, uh, Sculpture Depot, is this was made from the steel of a ship that they cut apart in Pakistan. I think it was Pakistan that the guy that made these tools is from. But anyway, I'm just evening out the uh, roundness of his head. I'm trying to decide whether I want to make the guy younger or the same age. I think I'm going to make him the same age. Alright, I'm going to probably call it quits here for today. Uh... I like the idea of what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to live with it overnight and see how I feel tomorrow. I'm going to make the face on this guy a little more robust. I don't know if I said that before or not, but anyway. And uh, not sure what kind of uh, hair I'm going to put on his head or uh if i'm even going to put a beard on him i don't know i'm just uh mainly playing it all by ear right now I'm going to go through my reference material on faces and different things like that. I could put a fur cap on them, but I've written, I've worn fur caps at Rendezvous years ago. And the last thing you want to wear in the summertime is a fur cap. But I don't know. I'm just going to have to decide what to do when I get to that point. I can see a personality starting to pop out. All right, I'm just going to put the head back on just to see what it looks like. It might be too big of a face. I think I'll leave it on until tomorrow and then I can come back down here and see what I feel like. Well, anyway, I guess I'll have to just see how I feel next time. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review 
of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.